to another design tutorial in Design Weekly and today we're going to be replicating Siri in Adobe XD. Everything from voice commands to speech playback we will be uh, using in uh, Adobe XD to replicate uh, Siri in iOS. So when I click here I will be able to get to Siri and just wait and watch. What is my name? It might take a second to read and there it goes. Hypernate. <laughs> it says my name right, thankfully. It used to like say something like Punit a long time back, but uh, it's changed ever since. And this is almost exactly how Siri works. And we're going to create this quickly in Adobe XD. Less than five minutes. All you need is to create a, I've already done everything here. So if you need the Adobe XD file, I'll be linking that down in the, in the description uh, so that you can just download it and start working on it. So we will go down and search for the iPhone 10 and 10s um, here. And we will create this artboard. Let's just shift this artboard down below. And uh, this is basically just an image. So what we will be doing is we'll be just copying over this image and just pasting it here. Perfect. Uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, because this obviously doesn't have anything else here, n nothing actionable, what we're going to do is create an overlay over this and we will, uh, we will make this black, right? And quickly, uh, we will go to background blur and in Adobe XD you can blur the background of a particular element easily so what we're gonna do is gonna increase the opacity so that it's dark and we will increase the brightness slightly maybe not much uh, let's make the brightness low and let's make uh, the level of blur should be high yep it's so about say 38 perfect so this is something similar to what we have here and um, what we'll do is we'll put this text here. Uh, I'm lazy, so I'm just gonna copy everything. And uh, how these waves work is basically, um, if I copy this over here, uh, this wave works something like this. If uh, in one artboard, the wave is like this. And if I copy this artboard over here, and I change the waveform by double clicking, and changing the anchor points, the wave will move according to the change in the anchor point. So you're creating a, you're basically creating a quick wave. So it'll kind of move from here to here. So um, this is how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna just copy this over to, I'm way too lazy, man, I'm way too lazy. And I'm gonna have this, uh, I've basically created three uh, of these waves using the pen tool. You can just use the pen tool quickly to create this. Um, and you, as you see, I move it from one place to another. I kind of have edited it over here. And in my third, uh, so in my second, I'll have this. And in my third, I'll just have this. Yep, so, um, oops, sorry. So here, um, as you can see, we have made these boards in less than <laughs> two minutes. But of course, you'll have to take more time to make these graphs. Again, I'll have the XD file link below. And what we've done here is now just um, taken all this and just made it much smaller like this. Or instead, what you can do is just create a circle and um, make a mask out of it. So it becomes like a center button circle. Um, and if we do this, we select everything and we say mask with shape. And yeah, that is how it's done. And we'll just create a circle to go just behind that and uh, make just a border, maybe yeah, uh, just a white, quick white border. Just make it two pixels thick and um, just make sure that it's sized properly. And there you go. So that is basically your circle in which the graph will come and showcase itself. Perfect. And uh, in the last one, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, okay, this was the last one, I'm sorry. So we're going to move the text down and just make the opacity to zero so that it, uh, the text vanishes and new text comes up, which is this. 
um, and we'll copy this over to the previous artboard as well and bring it down and change the opacity to zero. So it'll move from this artboard to this artboard. And now comes the magical part. What we'll do is go to prototype mode and here we will link this to the second artboard and rather than uh, cl clicking on tap, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say voice. So uh, we we'll enter our command here. Let's just say, what is my name? And we'll just type it normally like that. We will say auto animate and leave everything else the same. Uh, and from here, we will do a timed transition. This is again, another feature, cool feature. And we will give it a delay of 0.0, .0 seconds. So it will move uh, in 0.0, .0 seconds. It will move from this artboard to this artboard. And the third artboard, we will move to the last artboard. Uh, the same time transition. And in this artboard, what we're going to do is we're going to give uh, on, on time, uh, zero seconds, we will give rather than auto animate, we will say speech playback. Now this is again, uh, something relatively new in Adobe XD. So what we're going to do is we're going to say what it has to say. Hi, Puneet. And that's it. Uh, it'll speak in whatever uh, speech output you have installed on your uh, on your device. It could be a male voice, it could be a female voice, depending on what you have on your machine. So now that we play it, we'll be able to have something like this. Press space and say, what is my name? It'll, it might take a second, but it'll work and it'll say Hi, that's it that is how it works i hope you like this video this is a quick tutorial on uh you know learning new stuff about adobe xd and creating cool stuff you can use this uh speech playback and voice commands in adobe xd creatively in your project as well i'll be linking the xd file down in the description hope you like this video do subscribe to my channel because that goes a long way and uh, do like and comment as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.